Good morning, everybody. Good morning. It is, I think, 10 past 6 a.m. in the morning in Abuja, Nigeria. We're going for a walk after Hunduke. Uh, yeah, this morning in Hunduke was pretty nice, huh? I think so. We were quite a number of people, about 10, 15 people. We do every morning at 5 a.m. we do Hunduke together. Yes. Afterwards we have uh, a minute of meditation, and then we have sharing. And this morning we were reading about, um, about the existence of God. God's purpose and maybe we, I would like to share what I shared this morning with them I would also like to share this with you because it was pretty nice <laughs> so Steve was asked to write a letter for your mother and uh, good morning he was asked to write a letter for your mother and uh, we're going back from South Africa to Nigeria in the airplane and maybe you want to share what, yeah. ha what happened I was, uh, <clears throat> I was, my desire was to watch, good morning. Good morning. My desire was to watch uh, a, mov a movie. Yeah. And uh, Gianna was getting ready to write in her journal. And she said, why don't you uh, write a letter to True Mother like, uh, like you know you wanted to. Because we wanted to write our reflections of how we felt. Uh, and this was a, I'm just kidding. Here. Yeah. Anyways, so I wanted to write my reflections and writing a letter to True Mother to encourage her to give our support and our love. And uh, at the moment I didn't feel like it because I was uh, wanting to relax after busy three weeks and just watch a movie and then write, a mo uh, write the letter. <laughs> but Diana was saying you should maybe write a letter now. And just then the entertainment system uh, was... Uh, crashed and was being reloaded and uh, so they told us in 20 minutes the movies can come back on so but it never came <laughs> but uh, it never came as they say in Nigeria oh God never come they never come <laughs> if you don't come on time they say you never come you never come but uh so I gave 20 minutes a chance and I didn't write I just waited for the movies because I was stubborn and uh, after 20 minutes uh, I went to put on a movie and it, cra it crashed again and the, inter the lady on the intercom said uh, sorry uh, we're only allowed to do this two times and uh, we have to reboot it so she rebooted it and in the middle of the rebooting she stopped it again <coughs> and did it for the third time and after that it was just down it didn't work all the TVs were off Yep, exactly. She was like, Diana looked at me and said, there's your sign. <laughs> <laughs> and then he accepted it. And then so, yeah. So then I started writing the letter. And uh, after we were finished with the letter, uh, it was already now, the, the flight was six hours. Yeah. It was already now five hours into the flight that, the, that everything was down. The letters were finished. And finally after, Diana told me, are you done with the letter? I said, yep. Then the entertainment system comes back on, yeah, and, it's, and it was working. Yeah. And uh, so. So basically, the spirit world really pushed him to write this letter right now, to focus on this right now. It was the perfect moment to do that. Yeah. So that was an interesting story. Now back to you about what you're trying to say. Yeah. So this morning in Hondoke, when we were reading about uh, God existence, um, we we're reading about how God always has a purpose, how God always has a motivation, and. I think sometimes we're just too busy to really realize that, to pay attention. But whatever we want to do, you know, we want to relax, we want to, you know, focus on taking care of our body, uh, taking a shower, cleaning the house, whatever. There's so many things we have to do all the time and we want to do that. So many important things just slip through our fingers, basically, yeah. and we don't pay attention to that. Yeah. And then we feel disconnected from God because it's on our side we don't pay attention or we don't see how God is trying to push us left, trying to push us right, you know, in the right direction, trying to help us to focus and to fulfill our own purpose. And that's what God is always trying to do. And I think God is always 
next to us, within us, all the time. And our own purpose basically means <clears throat> to fulfill the purpose God desired for us inside of us. Exactly. So I think God is really, one of my point is God is really there all the time. And we should pay attention, open our eyes of our heart, reflect upon that, what God is trying to do with our lives. Yeah. What God wants us to do, what God wants us to focus. And every single moment, you know, this experience was was strong, was a reminder, you know, but God is not always pushing us that strong. So it's actually a blessing. Sorry for the whole shakiness of the video. <laughs> yeah. So I think when we really try to reflect upon that in our own lives, to see where God is working, what is happening. Why is it happening what is happening? You know, why does things repeating itself? Yeah. There's always a reason for something. Yeah. And if we try to understand, if we try to connect our hearts with God, then we know what kind of direction in life we should do, how we should solve the problem. All these answers will come to us if we pay attention. That's right. So Mahani, concluding words? Well, the conclusion is God is the cause and you are the result. Exactly. And therefore you must seek to understand what is the reason for what you are doing and uh, how does it fit with God. And you should try to tune and align yourself uh, exactly. and to resonate with uh, God's purpose and God's desire. Aju. 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 So with that we wish you a great week. Greetings from the Winter Vision from Nigeria, guys. Cheesy! Cheesy.